what's Red Bull got to say about the homeless cats? 12,000 people Could be the biggest in the fighter Reddit and the ever. kid hate Reddit, and all they do is just Brendan. And but I think there's something they're... else going on. There really is something else going on. I mean, uh, uh, you, you got to believe me. We need some psychologists to figure this out. Why Brendan? Why? I can't, you know, I love hating people. I can't find that much time to hate Brendan. To me, it's, he says, one stupid thing a month. It's barely anything. Now People might be taking this a bit too serious. Again, it's just insane. It's like, and it's like, work. what I'm have you it. guys convinced yourself is actually happening here? Like, what did Brendan do? I mean, wow. Interesting, t interesting turn in it. Interesting turn. I never expected to hear somebody whose entire career has centered around hating comedians specifically. Like he maybe pioneered like going. I think Red Bar is like, who's that guy? I forgot his name. Oh, his brother is with somebody, right? There's that comedian who's got a brother. Um, that's it. Neil Brennan, right? Neil Brennan's brother. When I think of comedians who really hate other comedians, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Red Bar try to be a comedian on the owner comedy club? Is that, is that the law around him? He had a comedy store, a comedy club, or he tried to be a comedian. I'm not sure what to think, but he's associated with the comedy scene in some way. The only people I can think of who really were hating at the, at the top tier, like Olympic level, was Neil Brennan's brother. And I think him and his brother don't get on at all. I think he's his older brother. And he's really, you know, Kevin Brennan, yeah, he used to go hard. I'm sure he, I think he calmed down now because I don't see his clips as much online in, you know, on the subreddit and whatnot of the Friday the Kid. But I remember I used to listen to his show and he used to, it'd be uncomfortable how hard he used to get. He used to go really hard, really personal, especially if you slighted him any kind of way, like really aggressive. So people, when I, when I think of people out there who critique and go, not even critique, who just attack comedians, <laughs> I think of Red Bar and uh, Neil Brennan's brother, uh, Kevin Brennan. I don't think of anybody else. So for this guy to suddenly be like, you're hating on Brendan too much is like interesting, isn't it? But I also think it makes sense because from the clips I've seen of, 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 um, of uh, Red Bar, he does go out of his way to be fair to him. He does watch a lot of comedian content. Like I don't, I maybe, to be fair, I only see clips. I don't really listen to anyone's show apart from Tuesdays with Stories, uh, My Secret Podcast, the one with Flippin' Shane Guinness. Um, what else do I listen to? In four. I'm trying to think of comedy podcasts. I listen to in four. What do I listen to? Uh, that's it really. Yeah. Obviously, everything I've listened to is mostly fashion y cultural stuff like Red Scare, like How Long Gone and stuff. I don't really listen to comedy podcasts that much to be able to kind of glean all the little nuances. But Red Bar does his research. He actually sits there and listens to all of the New York ones. He listens to all the subsidiaries of those New York guys. He listens to all the subsidiaries of the LA guys. He's actually plugged in. So his whole show that he does, that's like, you know, six hours long, he actually dissects to be able to pull these different little bits that you would probably miss because, you know what I mean? You know, who's, you, like for instance, I like Irish Affairs podcast, but I only listen to it from time to time. But he listens to every episode. So maybe in his point, he's frustrated because everyone's just like kind of taking the low hanging fruit, which is Brendan Shaw. Cause it's just easy because, you know, there's a whole subreddit full of homeless cats that just kind of clip the show and watch it, you know, on your behalf. So maybe that's where his frustration comes from. There's all enough people out there kind of, you know, crowdsourcing and helping out with the content. Maybe that's where it's coming from. But if he's generally saying that the hate around Brendan is too much maybe that's a bit wild to be fair to considering that he does a six hour show it's hard for you to kind of stand there and tell people what's too much to be fair to be fair there sure are a lot more people online that deserve a hundred and twelve thousand person hate reddit but brendan schaub isn't even like a character who's really committed any crime you know what i mean L why aren't you doing this to anthony kumi i mean you guys would Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I get his point then. I see where he's coming from. I guess where he's coming from. There's, there's people in the comedy scene who are way more deserving of the vitriol and the attack or the kind of aggression or the infusion that Brendan gets. But to be fair to the homeless cats, and again, I think they do a really good job of that for Reddit, of keeping it, you know, we only discuss the podcast. And I think for the most part, people just find it really funny to laugh at him because he is genuinely redacted, like genuinely. But he's also very successful in his own way so it's quite funny to see that kind of that contrast of him being able to be on these platforms and do the thing that he's doing and putting out the content that he's doing to his fan base but also just say the most asinine things you know what i mean on a weekly basis it's just fun to kind of keep a, a loop on that but i don't think people are watching it with any kind of malice in any kind of way it's just 
kind of fun stuff to kind of you know pass the time and like i said beforehand i think for me i've noticed especially because i tend to kind of watch a lot of heavy things in terms of documentaries and movies and i read a lot of books i do a lot of ser- you know, quote unquote seriously intellectually stuff i find it quite nice and quite refreshing and almost relaxing to just tune out at this nonsense like it's quite fun to legitimately turn your brain up a little bit and i say to me it's like my version of reality tv i don't watch the kardashians i don't watch love island i don't watch any reality tv show for that matter just because it's not stuff it's not for me really but i understand why people do watch it because it just allows you to turn your brain off and just be entertained for a bit and also be able to see somebody else be way more of a fuck up than you are so it's nice to see someone like Brendan who's, you know, a little bit of a redact because he makes everybody feel smart. In the same way, it's nice to kind of watch Wings of Redemption streams and, you know, detractor content of Wings of Redemption because he's a, you know, morbidly obese streamer who has no motivation and no drive and just sits there and expects people to give him money. It's quite nice to kind of watch that stuff and make yourself feel good because you're like, you know what? I thought I was terrible and I wasn't doing anything, but at least I'm not that guy. So maybe the same thing with Brendan, maybe. But I don't think it's as deep as he's making it, to be fair. We have a field day. I mean, Kellen. why aren't you doing this to Kellen? Why aren't you doing this to Chris D'Elia or Josh Denny? I mean, can't there be a 112,000 person hate Reddit against Chris D'Elia that's constantly bothering him? He's way more worthy of it but you just stick to Brendan. And it's like, I love... That's true. That That's a good point. But to be fair, Brendan isn't really that. That's the thing with Brendan. I think he's... The subreddit is more so of a comic thing to laugh at him as opposed to people like attacking him as a person. And also, he's just not that well-known to be commanding people to really be going after him on a serious level. And also, to be fair to him again... The Rogan thing did inoculate did inoculate him from a lot of real consequences, to be fair. Even though he hasn't done anything that crazy, the Rogan Association of Cosign does a lot to kind of protect him from a lot of stuff. The other guys are kind of fending for themselves and, you know, kind of struggling for air whenever they can. But Rogan really kind of was a human shield for Rogue, for for Brendan for a long time. And now we're seeing that now that Rogan's kind of stepped away from those guys just for a pure location, he's not really around anymore. It's a bit different, but maybe that's the reason. Who knows? But he does make a good point. I see what he's saying. Of the energy, guys. Can we use it against somebody a little bit better? Where's Logan that- Paul should have the biggest hate Reddit, not Brendan Schaub. But you've twisted yourself in this. Now, to be fair, the Brent, Logan Paul hate Reddit probably doesn't exist, but the videos are there. Coffeezilla, the other guy called Shane said they forgot his name. There's loads of people online calling out Logan for his scam. Every time people, every time there's clips of Logan online, especially on Twitter, where he's promoting flipping Prime with KSI or something, people are in the comments like give people back their money from the crypto zoo thing. Like people are on his head constantly. He just ha- has a good way of dealing with the hate. He just kind of ignores it, keeps on keeping on. And his fans generally don't seem to care. But people do raise it. People just, you know, what can you do? If the UFC signs him and it is what it is, what can you do? You know what I mean? I don't know what happened to you guys, but you're under this impression that Brendan, like, must be stopped and jailed. And if I-, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Personally, I don't think that's true. Like, for me, myself personally, I don't do this stuff because i want to see brendan stopped and jailed if anything like i said before i want him to make it on snl i don't think he ever will because he's just you know not good enough and maybe doesn't have the fame to you know surpass or to circumnavigate him not being good enough to be on the show but i would like him to be on the snl because it'll give me more content to laugh at because i generally think he's really funny to laugh at because he does really dumb and says really dumb and silly things um maybe he's done some you know some principally morally things i probably wouldn't have done fair enough but we all make mistakes and we all have our own skins and our own clothes that we have to kind of to deal with but it's not really that deep about wanting to see him homeless because he says it himself sometimes brendan oh they want to see me homeless no no one doesn't want to see you homeless no one wants to see your cars get repoed no one wants to see your kids get pulled out of private school no one like enjoy your riches enjoy your welfare you've done well you worked hard for what you got but you people that were former friends are also within their rights to somehow you know maybe not like your the version that you are now and kind of point and laugh at it and the fans that do like it like it but it's not as deep as i think he's making it out to be if i asked you what's the worst thing brendan's done what would you say every person we make fun of on the show is a better candidate for a hundred and twelve thousand person hate reddit where they're talking about you every day so i ask you this can somebody even in our chat tell us what is brendan's three worst crimes go let's see what people even say do you even have anything 
or have you lost yourself to this idea that he is the boogeyman no one's really got any worse i guess the guys have done something leg legitimately legal fair enough but again what do you want us to do about this I, I don't understand what do you want us to do even if they have done something illegal like chris Lee is a good example like somebody actually you know somebody actually took the step to try and do something about the chris Lee stuff made a documentary didn't make a dent someone took the step to make their voice heard they went outside of his show and protested i think chris Lee took the piss out of it he said it was one person Right, and Chris mocked them on their platform, on his platform. I'm sure his fans probably found out who the person was and trolled them. So people try and do things, it just doesn't maybe get to the point or get to get the conclusion that Red Bar would want. But it doesn't mean people aren't trying. And even if they do try, what do you expect them to do? What can one person actually do? Or what can even 112,000 people actually do? You can't mobilize every single person. It's not like a hive mind. There's not some, you know, for, like even BGL is a good example. Look at the whole, look at the split on the homeless cats with BGL being on there, right? I was one person that didn't really love all the BGL loving that was going on on there, but some people were all for it. Some people were against it. Like there's not like a common consensus that kind of groups people together and these sort of things. It's just what it is. It's fun to laugh at the redacted things he says and just keep on keeping on. It's not that deep, in my opinion. That you must destroy and I don't just take a thing and beat it to death for 15 years straight. You got to advance, too. You got to move on. I mean, this is very confusing. Red Bar has a million inside jokes, too. And you know what? They last until it gets gay and then you ditch it. You don't hang on to these inside jokes for infinity. Yeah. I don't know what's happening there, man. Weird little pivot from B from um, Red Bar. And again, I know from watching his content that he has said many a times that he finds the obsession with Brendan a little bit weird. And he does think that, you know, there are other people who do more f redacted things in the JRE extended universe or LA podcast and scene or just comedians in general. That should, sorry, that should be highlighted. Fair enough. But the way that he's pivoting now on this thing is bizarre. Like almost defending Brendan is a bit strange. Like crimes. It's like no one's laughing at him because of crimes. We're laughing at him because he doesn't know how to pronounce, you know, words properly. Like he speaks English like it's his second language. We're laughing at him because despite being given every opportunity under the sun, every privilege, every advantage on a silver platter, he still manages to find a way to fuck it up. We're laughing at him at the fact that he holds up materialistic things as being the reason to kind of give him validity and, you know, uh, to kind of judge his success. And those things are even failing, right? Like, you know, he quietly sold cars and downgraded his house and didn't say anything. And he used that as a thing to flex on things that we don't care about. Again, things that I don't care about. But then when it kind of works at his disadvantage, he kind of slowly, he kind of quietly does it and doesn't really mention it. Did he sell, did he sell his, um, his wife's car as well, right? without her knowing wasn't that one of the stories that was on flipping reddit because he wanted to downsize and kind of you know get the finances back in order there's a rumor going around or people believe on the homeless cat subreddit that maybe his dad finances a lot of tfat k because his name was on the lcc l so l l llc whatever what you call it right when you set up a company um his dad's name was on there that weird thing that he did where he maybe or maybe maybe he left showtime maybe he got fired but to get fired was such a big job and immediately go and get a ferrari who are you doing that for you're not doing that you're doing that for yourself you're doing that to kind of prove the doubt was wrong bizarre those things are fun to laugh at and just to kind of point at it's not anything that's gonna you know no one's going to his house to protest no one's trying to get his shows cancelled it's just funny to see somebody again that care so much about ticket sales that's you know talking behind comedians backs and laughing at them not selling places but he's performing in a restaurant somewhere in naples right for like you know old age pensioners and shit it's just funny to laugh at it doesn't matter anything because everyone's journey is different but if you're if you're pointing and laughing at other people about certain things happens to you you have to expect it to come back to you in some regard so i don't know i'm curious to know what the pivot is in that way why did red bar say that i don't know who knows maybe he's a reason behind it maybe we'll find out <laughs> but yeah it looks like red bar's had enough of the of the brendan hate he thinks people should chill out okay i guess isn't it okay i guess